Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to roll. It's your girl Keonti and I'm going to get go ahead and give us a general love, a general read, love read. Again, this is going to be for the sign of Pisces, baby shark, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you're cross watching for the Pisces, it could resonate from your perspective, but this is a general read and it is energy. Everything won't resonate for every Pisces on the planet. Please be sure to keep what resonates in your life and release what doesn't, okay? If I get it right for you, baby sharks, make sure to take care of me with the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is provided in the description box below, along with the link to my Etsy shop where I offer $10 personalized messages. All right, Pisces, I'm doing this blind. The cards are down. I don't know what they say. I meditated, shuffled, and I let them fall this way. So we're going to look underneath the decks first so I can get an overall energy of what we may be dealing with. Bad reputation. Uh-oh prickly so pisces you could be dealing with someone who has a bad reputation or a prickly person racing okay this is running and avoiding okay and let's see what the last thing here is the three of pentacles okay you could be dealing with an earth sign pisces but these cards are telling me you or someone again put yourself where you go in this scenario too pisces i don't know who's doing what to whom okay but i feel like in this scenario there's some sort of um issue with the person who is either a prickly person this person could be like hard to pin down or they could be prickly to deal with or they have a bad reputation here and it has something to do with this racing running and avoiding something that has to do with the three of pentacles right something to do with st stability foundation i feel like pisces i don't know in what way shape or form or fashion that's going to come out and everything else it feels like there's some sort of energy here of dealing with someone who has a bad reputation or some sort of history or pattern of running and avoiding something dealing with the three of pentacles i don't know if this is responsibility i don't know if this is connection i don't know what it is a person is running and avoiding but someone has a they, they have a pattern a history or a reputation of doing this okay all right baby sharks Let's see what we have here. Let's see what's going on here for Pisces. Kissing ass. Okay, so this is some. This is an offer here, right? This is someone trying to get back in someone's good graces here. An offer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What else we got here? Moves in silence. Okay. Pisces, this is what I'm seeing. Pisces, there's someone here. Like I said, if there isn't even just like a bad reputation, in order to form a reputation, right? There has to be some sort of history of doing something here. So it's something about a pattern or a history. It's something that this person has done in the past or that they have a reputation for doing. It has something to do with running and avoiding and racing the three of pentacles. And I feel like that three of pentacles is, it could be their problems, their responsibility. It could even be this connection that you have with them, Pisces. But now I have, or whoever is doing this, okay? But now I have this person wanting to make this offer. They're kissing ass, right? This is, can I get back in your good graces? Can we make up? So this is a new energy. Could, well, it could be new energy. A new person could be trying to kiss your ass, but I don't think so. It feels like because there's a reputation and a history, there's someone trying to make some sort of offer to butter you up, to get back in your good graces. They could be trying to change your mind about them. Okay, yes. This person could be trying to see if they can change your mind. Yes. And I think they want to change your mind or someone wants to change someone from someone's mind and um, in regards to how they see or they view them. I knew this was going to happen. Now someone wants to come over as soon as I'm starting to work. Okay, let me see if I can keep going, guys. This person does want to make some sort of offer, right? They want to come in, kiss someone's ass, make some sort of offer, butter them up. This person does have a history or a tendency to move in secrecy and silence. Okay, this they do. They move in silence. Give me one second, guys. Okay, because I'm going to try to work through this, but I know someone's coming over to my house. Let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for the Pisces? Ascension and cleansing. Okay, so this is a spiritual awakening, a spiritual path and awakening. Cleansing is meditating, clearing space, removing negative energy. So listen. This could definitely be someone like, you know what? I've changed, right? I've gotten rid of, I've thought about it. I've realized something. I've, I'm, I'm removing negative, negative energy. Pisces, there's only one or two things happening here. 
Either this person is trying to kiss your ass and convince you that they have ascended, that they are awakening, that they're on a spiritual path, and they've done something with this cleansing. They've got rid of some sort of negative energy. They thought about some things, and they want, and like they want to make an offer towards you, or you have done this. You have thought about some shit. You removed the negative space. You have ascended, right? Because for some of you, this is exactly what it is. You are the person that has ascended. And now they're trying to come back and make some sort of offer to you after having this history or this pattern or this bad reputation of avoiding this connection with you, right? Or avoiding feelings or whatever it is that they like to avoid. I do feel like for a lot of you, this person is coming back asking. They're trying to kiss your ass and they want to convince you that they've ascended if you haven't been the one ascended yourself. Let's see what racing is about. Ooh, an offer, obsession. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Indulgence, must, must have. So this is someone now wanting to really, really, really make this offer. Like they have to have something with you. Could definitely be something toxic going on. Someone could over drink here. That could be someone who, who um, indulges in alcohol or drugs here because obsession could just be that toxicity. But I feel like there was definitely stress, tension, and obsession behind this. But I feel like now there's like this, this energy of like after I've now ran and avoided and been avoiding this, now I got to have this, right? So, this, I, right, and I feel like this person could, listen, this person could have a reputation of doing that, right? Avoiding you, avoiding the connection, right? Avoiding having something stable, being very secretive. But now they're coming back and it's like now they got to have it right now, right? And they could definitely want to convince you that they've changed or Pisces, you have changed. You've thought about it and you've ascended because someone here has ascended. Someone is on a spiritual path. They're awakened here. Let me see what else we got here. Mm -hmm. Moves in silence. Karmic. Third-party relationship lessons. Yes, some of you, this person is trying to convince you that they learned some sort of karmic lessons here. For sure. This person could, have def could definitely have third-party situations and moves in silence. I have someone being vet moves moves. That moves very secretly, very silent, silently, right? And I do feel like there's something about multiple parties involved. Or they keep some, they think, they keep, I feel like there's something about relationships that they keep secret, they keep private, if it, 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 for real. Even if it's not like third party. But I also feel like there's some sort of karmic lesson that this person is trying to convince you that they've learned. Let me see what we got in tarot here. The emperor, Aries, Taurus energy here. Yeah, there's definitely an emperor coming in. It could be an Aries or Taurus. This person is definitely off making this offer. They're trying to butter someone. I feel like they want to change your mind about whatever the bad reputation is about, right? They're trying to take accountability, perhaps, because the emperor could be a boss, a business owner, a husband, authority figure. I feel like they're trying to perhaps take some sort of accountability here, or they're trying to come in like they're in control, right? See what else we got here. The tower. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. See, yes. See, it feels like someone, like, with the tower and obsession and the offer, this feels like something that someone has to have now, right? It feels like they're having some sort of tower moment because now, now this is something that they absolutely must have here. This person could also be having a tower moment here. They could be coming to a realization. They could have really have, though. They could have really came to the realization that they have to have you or that they want to be with you or they want to be in your good graces. They, I do know that they have some sort of history and reputation here about, about a bad habit, about racing and avoiding. But you know what that's about. If you know, you know, you know. What else do we have here? The Five of Swords. See, this could definitely be man manipulation, mental manipulation, third-party situations. This could definitely be mental anguish. I don't know if I'm going to get to finish this video, and I sure hope I do, guys. Let me see if I can get some clarification on this for you. Guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if I'm getting this right for you. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. Let's try to get some tarot on this, guys, before my doorbell rings. Can we get one for kissing the ass for Pisces? Who's doing the ass kissing here for the baby sharks? It flipped right back over in my hand. Give me one for the kissing ass energy for Pisces. The star. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I do feel like this person, there's like, this person could definitely see you as wish fulfillment. There's also something about, like, they're hoping for six of wands. This person is hoping to get victory and success. They are hoping to, I feel like they do want to butter you up. They, they do want to get your attention. They're giving you a lot of attention. Eight of Pentacles, because they want to work on something with you. For some of you, this is someone that you work with. Give me one for the offer here. The eight of wands flip right out. Yes, this is this 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 is definitely an offer. Ace of cups. The offer is on the table, Pisces. It is. Now it's up to you if you want to take it. Yeah, but the offer is on the table. I see it. The ace of cups is on the offer. Period. The offer is on the table. 
Yeah, judgment. Someone does want another chance. And I, but I'm telling you, with the Knight of Wands and strength, they want you to see them differently. Give me one for moves in silence. This is what this person has a history of doing, though. They have a reputation for moving in silence and possibly running and avoiding some things. Page of Wands. There's either children involved or this person could definitely, like, with the Page of Wands, it feels like playful. I don't want to say playful, but it's like a page is a page, right? So they don't give up everything, the Ten of Swords. They could definitely be getting ready to give it all up now. There could be a situation where this person is planning to end something here with the Ten of Swords. They could definitely be getting ready to end their silence. They want to communicate. Give me one for ascension and cleansing here. Pisces, either you remove this negative energy from your space and you're on the spiritual path and you're awakening and this person is trying to kiss your ass or they're trying to convince you if that's what, they, that's what they're doing. See, Five of Swords. Ace of Pentacles because they do want to offer you this. So either this person is conflicted because they know that you've moved on from them and that they can't change They, they can't change your opinion of them and they want to offer you this ace of pentacles or they're coming in and they're trying to convince you of this ace of pentacles the nine of pentacles see right to someone single solid stable and abundant yet three of swords but there has been some sort of heartbreak or betrayal here give me one for obsession the emperor see same person there he is again yes with death, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, an Aries, Taurus, a Capricorn, but I feel like there is something that's ended, changed, and transformed with this person. Could definitely be an ego death, for sure. Give me one for the karmic energy for Pisces. They keep flipping on the floor. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, patience and divine timing, reunion and reconciliation. I do feel like this person could definitely be having some disappointment in a third party situation here. I also feel like this person um, could be kind of sad, right? I feel like the, the, the lesson they may have learned in this whole thing is how to treat you, Pisces, because you could have definitely ascended and left this person alone. But I do feel like there's been some sort of disappointment here with the Five of Cups. This is somebody wanting to reconcile. Patience and divine time, and though look what's under there, that Ace of Pentacles. This is what they want. Give me one for the Emperor here for Pisces. Divine masculine energy, Aries, Taurus. Look, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is this is something that he wants to say. The moon, we're dealing with a water sign. There's something about his emotions here. That's, there's some things hidden here with the moon. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely some things. And look, all this is all this is unknown energy. The moon, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Swords. There are, there are some things, Pisces, that you don't know that this person wants to talk about. I also feel like this person could have been a master of illusions, right? He has a bad reputation for keeping secrets, keeping illusions. For some of you, there's something here about a secret child, but I don't want to dwell on that. Give me one for the tower. I feel like this person is having a tower moment or had a tower. You know, they're having one because they want to make this offer towards you. Death. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Scorpio. I told you this person is going through some sort of endings. Some sort of transformational energy. The hermit could be dealing with the Virgo. They're keeping this to themselves. They're doing deep introspection. They're trying to figure out how they could offer you something, Pisces, that will change your opinion of how you see them about this bad reputation. They have a bad reputation or a prickly habit of running and avoiding something here and being very secretive. And something is ending and changing and transforming for this person. They're having a tower moment. And they either want to convince you they, they have ascended or they're having this tower moment because they see that you have ascended and that they see how you, they know your opinion of them. Give me one of this five of swords for Pisces. The king of wands, there he is. I do feel like at some point, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. At some point, I don't know if there was competition, third party situation, manipulation, or this is just mental conflict, but I see this person having this. With the two of cups in, in relationship to you, Pisces. Soulmate energy. Yes, the chariot. I do feel like there's something about moving, changing, or traveling. You could be dealing with the Cancerian. If this person wants to come towards you with justice, you could be dealing with a Libra. There's literally something here. Someone wants to come towards you and bring you with. Yeah, something is changing for this person. And they've thought about it. I got to go. My phone is ringing, Pisces. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. I love you. Continue to stay beautiful and stay blessed. Got to go, baby sharks. Bye-bye.